Hello and welcome to some oh, well, a tutorial on how to take apart, clean and then reassemble your 3x3. So first of all what you want to do is you want to, um, first of all you want to remove an edge. So go 45 degrees, get your finger under it, apply some pressure. Oop, well I've just done that. Try not to do that. If that does happen, it's okay. Now that we've got the piece out, we can just slide it back in like that. That is very loose. I should probably deal with that later. Yeah, then you can just proceed to take out pieces. Let's just get all these out and until eventually it will just crumble. This is my first time taking apart the Tornado V3, so it is all still very luby on the inside. Well, that's fun. And as you can see, cool corner to core magnets. Yeah, that's not what we're here for. So now that you're here, what you want to do is you want to um, take each piece individually, get some form of paper towel, a regular towel, or any other similar, and just individually clean the pieces uh, just to get any, off any dust or any other kind of muck buildup that could be affecting the friction. Then uh, after you've done that, this will not require any tools by the way, no tools needed, uh, just your hands. Then once you're done with that, which uh, I'm not going to do because I don't need to actually clean the pieces, but you know, just make sure you get everywhere because these are intricately shaped pieces in which there are a lot of areas like in here a lot of people don't get in you want to get in there you want to get in everywhere and especially with the corners you want to get all sides of the corners you want to get under this foot you want to get within the foot you want to get everywhere then once you have done that once you've done that for all 20 pieces grab your core we are going to begin with an edge I'm going to build the white layer first, like I was solving a regular 3x3, three because three, that's the only way I know how. I'm going to get my piece. I'm going to slide it in here. And because of the way everything happens, it kind of just stays in there. Then you want to get... Oh, get back in there. Then you want to get an adjacent corner. I'll take this orange-blue-white one. Slide it in there. That's the wrong way around. There we go. And since there are edge to corner magnets, they'll stick together. And since there are corner to core magnets, this will stay even more firmly in place. Now I'm going to keep on... Where's my other pieces? That's not right. I'm building a white layer, not a blue layer. Slide that in there. There we go, we have another edge. Now I'm going to get another corner. Not that one. Not that one. This one. Slide it in here. Turn it around. It's in now. I want my white and green edge. There it is. No, it isn't. Where is it? Am I blind? There it is. Slide it in there. As you can see, we've got this nice one by two by three. And then we can keep going, keep keep putting corners in. You want to alternate corner, then an edge, until you've completed your first layer. And as you can see, you're almost done with our first layer. There we go. Now, last piece is this one, and we can slide that in. And we have our first layer done. Now you want to get these four edges in. Basically, we're doing beginner method, but we're reassembling instead of solving. That in there. That's in there. Now we move on to the last layer, possibly the, the more difficult bit. First of all, you want to get an edge in, just like we've been doing with all of this. It will be a bit more difficult to get it in, but it still should just fit in quite nicely. In the corner, apply a little bit of pressure. You can get it in there, stick them together. Then you want to get another edge. 
you might want to consider lowering that layer a bit just to give it a bit of a gap to get in put it back up now you have three pieces just five more to go here's another one fits in just like this we're gonna get this edge again we're gonna lower one side a little bit just to give it a bit of wiggle room and now we are going to get a corner and we are going to end with first a corner oh that didn't work first a corner and to end with we're going to go 45 degrees and put the edge in and that is how you disassemble and reassemble a 3x3. Three